Question, is it possible that today's economic disasters have been caused by poor relationships? Could the simple act of listening to and encouraging each other rebuild our global economy? Hi, Larry Buxton here. Welcome to Leading with Spirit. You know, Harvard Business School professor Rawi Abdullal said in a recent interview, what we're experiencing now in the broader economy and labor markets is a crisis of purpose, and thereby, he said, a crisis of mentoring. Mentoring. Mentoring, he said, creates the shared direction, purpose, and understanding that every group requires. And without interpersonal relationships of guidance and caring, teaching, and encouragement, an organization's sense of purpose begins to fall apart. This so-called great resignation today is a powerful reminder of how thin was the glue that once held organizations together. Focusing only, as we once did pre-pandemic, on efficiency, speed, and productivity has all backfired. Restaurants, for example, were hard hit when the staff was seen as easily replaceable as just dishwasher or line cook or server. But now successful restaurants are cultivating closer personal relationships, as well as offering health coverage, continuing education, and other benefits that increase their employees' sense of being important. Those restaurants have been able to maintain their high standards and their reputation and their profitability by investing in their personnel. And the same thing's proving true for schools, hospitals, high-tech industries, retail companies, sales divisions, that intentional mentoring and relationship building and the time it takes to do those things in these organizations show that they want to deepen employees' personal engagement with the company's mission. And when they do that, everyone profits. Remember that the ministry of Jesus gave mentoring a high priority. For all the time Jesus spent individually healing and teaching, confronting authorities, praying in private, he also mentored a group of 12 men to whom he entrusted his mission and his legacy. They caught his passion and purpose, Peter, James, and John in particular. And the Gospels share a lot about the mentoring Jesus gave those three. When Jesus was no longer physically present, the mentored disciples co-led the movement of Christianity into the wider world. Mentoring was a critical step in the survival of Christian faith. So, good pastors reached deeply into their congregations to identify and encourage fresh future lay leadership. Good coaches reached deeply into the ranks of students, parents, administrators. Where will you look? Senior family members can advise and encourage a younger member of the clan to be an exemplary father, a family mediator, a family historian, or family convener. That families need the same gifts of time and attention, guidance, encouragement, listening, and grace for our families themselves to flourish. Professor Abdullah reminds us that small things have huge economic and social effects. So maybe like the flapping of a butterfly's wings, your conversation with someone today will affect change far beyond what you might ever imagine. Please like, subscribe, and pass along this video, more of which can be found under Leading with Spirit on LarryBuxton.com. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.